Okay, there's no um, there's no Sam. There's just me talking. But yeah, who watched the England game? Oh God, what a terrible display of game. That is, I felt bad, you know. Um, let me just post this and then I'll um. Now live. Um, that song is shorter than uh, <laughs> the the other songs we normally play as an intro song. Uh, but that is MC Fixer uh, coming home uh, as a new tune that he's released today. Um, he hasn't released a song for quite a while, so not not since I've known him. So when I saw him post that on uh, on Twitter, I was like, oh, great, great. I could play that for an intro for you guys. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> England won, Denmark won. Absolute terrible performance all around, to be fair. Um even even by Gareth Southgate, I've got I've got to say Southgate with the changes, um, you can see what he was trying to do with Watkins. Uh, Eze Eze came on, uh, and he started playing centre midfield instead, like by attacking midfielder. And I was thinking, well, we need someone out on the left. Stay out on the left, dude. <laughs> Stay on the left, uh, Mister Final Fantasy Seven. Welcome in. I predicted England would draw last night on your stream. Watching England should carry a health warning. Oh, tell me about it. Yeah, it's very frustrating. Right, so because um, my name is uh, T.S. Villa. I am a Villa fan. Uh, our manager is Unai Emery. I love this guy so much. You can tell he's always thinking. He's always tinkering around with the gameplay, uh, with the squad, players, um, whatever's going on. You know, even when we lose, you can still see he's trying to do something about it. Um, so when I come and watch England and... I see there's stuff that needs to be done. And you look at the manager, who is just has no emotion, isn't even moving anywhere. It is so frustrating that you know other managers out there can get what we know that these players can get, uh, can do on the pitch. Um, he's stifling the players. I think he's stifling the players. It is a shame. Um, the next game, he shouldn't play Trent in centre mid because... Him taking him off for Conor Gallagher definitely, um, definitely showed me as an England fan um, that he now sees what everyone else has seen. He now sees what everyone else has seen. He just waited way too long for that. Uh, Mr. Gary, so many good players uh, that are not showing their skills. Yes, it's like th it's too many. There's too many really really good players like someone that you can have Saka and that's world class you can say that Kane's world class um but there are too many really really good players that England have in their squad that aren't playing the same way and yes you could say that they don't play this way because of um the players they've got at the clubs but we've got these attacking flair players in this squad so why we why didn't we Cole Palmer? Why haven't we played Cole Palmer yet? That that is uh that is just disgusting. Um, I know we've got to give people a chance like uh Jared Bowen, um, but I genuinely thought that was that should have been Palmer. Palmer should have come in instead. Eze, Watkins, and Palmer should have been the three. Um, there was one moment in the first half. There's one moment in the first half where. Everyone kept passing it to Foden. Uh, no matter where he was, even when he was marked, they kept passing it to Foden. There was a five-minute spell, and it was like, it was really good. I mean, he even got shot off on the end where he should have passed it to Kane. But it was really, really good to see that. But then we didn't see it again for the rest of the game while he was on the pitch. It was so frustrating. Um, you were watching it on the BBC. Um, you heard Alan Shearer talk about it as well. You heard him talk about it at halftime. But... The defence does not need... They're playing one up front. As a centre-back, I know that one of you mark them, the other one covers, okay? I do not need a defensive midfielder in front of me when they play one up front. Uh, and Declan Rice did not need to be there. It's so frustrating. I know I'm comparing it to Sunday League football, guys. But still, it, it does translate in a way. You're just playing with different... You're playing with... Uh, professional centre-backs against professional strikers rather than a Sunday league centre-back and a Sunday league striker. It's still the same level. They're still the same level. Um, uh, Sly Penguin, I've seen Sunday league teams pass better than that. Yes, so the passing was the passing was weird. Like, 
we just couldn't string any passes together at some points. And even people like Bellingham, who you can rely on, just, um, I mean, I think they were blaming the pitch, but like Denmark were playing on the same pitch and they were passing it around. I think they only had one slip. Uh, and we scored, our goal was because they switched off. He switched off, their left back switched off because he thought uh, Saka wasn't going for the ball. Didn't realise that um, uh, Walker was on the outside. Uh, nipped in, a couple of deflections, Kane, bang. That's where Kane should be. Kane should be there at the end of the line, you know, running off the line, holding the line up, pushing that back line as far up as possible. Like Watkins did when Watkins came on, we didn't see him come back. Um, we came and saw, we saw him down the channels. We saw him down the middle. Kane should be up there and then everyone else should follow him. The midfield, once they get to you, I don't think they know how to play with each other yeah, with regards to the midfield. So... They're kind of too deep. They're too deep in front of the defenders when they should be more forward. Pushing the defenders up with them as well. So that at least the strikers can can come back. Yeah. Um, I think we need to go uh three four three in the next match, all out attack. I'd love it. I'd love it. I, I genuinely think he's gonna have some changes. There's gonna be some changes this next match. There's gonna be players on that bench going, Why why am I playing? Why why am I not playing? I think Colin Gallagher should start. I was gutted he got a yellow card to start with, to be fair, because he was running around constantly, had so much energy, did way more than Rice and Trent uh, put together. Um, and you could just tell, but they need to press with each other. This is something, again, I, I can only compare it. As a Villa fan, I've, I've really, really been blessed with the football we've been uh, playing this season, uh, or last season, shall I say, as, it's, uh, as the season's over. Uh, I can only compare it to that. And basically... You see every player press, um, and we're only seeing like two two players. We're playing three up front. Two of them press. Um, where's the other one? The other one needs to block out that pass at the top. Um, but it's just easy. You can just pass it around us. Uh, midfield is too deep, so they could just pass the ball into that little gap there. It is. Um, I think it is Southgate's fault. I think it's Southgate's fault, man. Uh, Geeky bat. They were headless chickens at the end. Yeah, they were. They were. And they were just playing for the draw. They were playing for the draw. You know, <laughs> speaking of the end, do you see that free kick with uh, with Pickford? And then all he did was just pass it to Walker. And then Walker just launched it, you know, for a goal kick. I don't know why. That that tells me that they were, they were just trying something off the cuff. Uh, they haven't practiced stuff. Uh, Pickford should have took it. He took the second one and it was a much better ball. Uh, Pickford should have took it because that means everyone else pushes up. Um, but but it just invited pressure. Um, if they if they if they were to counter attack from that crap crap cross, Sly Penguin. Uh, England couldn't even complete simple passes. Oh yeah, we had that. Uh, players stood two feet away. Yeah, they kept slipping over. I mean, uh, the the grass, the grass. I mean, uh, like I said, Denmark played on the same pitch, but the grass was literally. It looked like they just sprinkled the actual green on it. It was a soil, and then the grass wasn't actually connected. It was coming up everywhere, man. Um, it was coming up everywhere. Right, let's look at your messages. It fills me with oh, Mr. Final Fantasy Seven. It fills me with dread watching England. Yes, yeah, I don't. I don't feel entitled. I don't feel entitled with. Um, I don't think we should go around and smash everyone and stuff like that. I personally felt like we played. We didn't play well. Uh, we played well for probably thirty odd minutes in the first game. Uh, but then the rest of the game, we didn't really play well. And I thought, okay, Southgate has probably took this on board and has made some changes, made some tactical changes, but he didn't. He started with the same team. Uh, we kind of played the same way. Kane played the same way as well. Kept coming deep, man. I, uh, Kane, Kane set up their goal. And we had a throw-in on the edge of our box, and Kane set up their goal. I don't, he should not have been anywhere near uh, where he was at that point. But he's getting frustrated because he wants to be involved in the game. But Kane can't be involved in the game in that position because we have all of these other players that should be able to do that job. They should be able to thread balls to him. They should be able to dribble with the balls. They should be able to link up with each other. Uh, and Kane should be at the at, up front. I'm telling a world-class player how to play. <laughs> God. I'm a defender, not a striker. But still, he should be up there because we have the players to do 
the job that Kane feels like he wants to do. He just needs to score the goals. He was in the right place at the right time when he scored his goal. Exactly what Kane should be doing. Uh, I, uh, Mr. Gary92, I feel Phil Foden. You can see he was really trying. He 100% was. What I really, really liked was on, on, on BBC, what they pointed out was um, in the first game, he was in space so many times, the same places that he would be for Man City. And they were still giving him the ball. They were giving him the ball. We weren't doing that as England. We weren't doing that. So it felt like um, our players were either passing it backwards, sideways, weren't even looking for Foden. Whereas when you play in a team, I've, I've, I've played, I'm not a great player, but I've played in a team with great players. When you play in a team with great players, you try and get that ball to them. Okay? So try and get it to Bellingham. Try and get it to Foden. Those players will do stuff. They don't have to be on the wing to do stuff. They will dribble and run past people and stuff like that. Um, I think today, definitely Bellingham, Bellingham had an on-off day. Don't know if he's tired. He put he, he was holding his hamstring on that when he uh, when he went down in the first half. Don't know if that has anything to do with it. Uh, Saka was brilliant and as always, yeah, Saka was yeah, but we never we never used him as much. We, we there's nothing down the left hand side uh, because Trippier Trippier went forward once I think it was, but then he cut in. And the, the goal obviously came from an overlap. Saka obviously drew the player and then kind of made him think he wasn't going to go for the ball, which meant Walker overlapped. There was there was overlaps on the right hand side. The right hand side is our strongest. Um, we just need to utilize that, but we also need to transfer that to the left hand side. And welcome in Willie Two K Twenty Five. Much love to you, dude. Much love to you. Right, I'm a bit behind because we've got a lot of people chatting. So let me try zoom. Uh, Willie 2K, I'm just going to smile and nod. Okay. <laughs> yeah, man, man, man. Uh, they spray painted the mud. Exactly. That's how it worked. That's, how, that's exactly how the pitch looked like. Every single tackle, uh, every time someone had kicked the ball, there was, there was just green everywhere. It was like bits of the the, the pitch. Even Gay, when he went down, he was like slamming, the, slamming the thing down because there's so much came up. South, Southgate needs to bring back the waistcoat. T uh, to be fair, I think he was... Uh, it felt like he was a much better manager when he was wearing the waistcoat. I can't, I can't disagree with you, Mister Gary. Okay, uh, Atkins, welcome in. We're just trying to live up to the team that won in '66, and to be honest, we're nowhere near close. That's the thing. It doesn't feel like today. Today, today was a worse performance than last. Uh, the last game, there is, there is kind of. I feel like we've gone backwards, and I feel like. He didn't learn anything from these uh, the international friendlies we had. Uh, I don't know what they're working on in training. Obviously, why would I know? But still, <laughs> I don't know what they're working on in training because there are things like set pieces. We we, we look clueless. Uh, the pressing, every player on that pitch presses for their club team. But we're not pressing together in the England team. It's weird. It's weird. Um. I know Gahey, again, as I, I will refer to stuff as a centre-back. Gahey did mess up, but he had an awesome, awesome recovery challenge uh, to, to uh, rectify his mistake. Um, after that moment, though, he swapped. I don't know if it's a Southgate thing or if this is something that maybe Pickford or, or Stones both said, uh, but he swapped with Stones. So he started playing on the right-hand uh, side of the uh, centre-backs. Um, so that was that was something I noticed. I'm, I'm I always look at the centre backs, guys. I always look at them. Um, I don't like it when a midfielder. When as I say we're playing one at one, at, they're playing one up front. We've got the ball at the back, and a midfielder comes deep into the back line to pick the ball up. I don't like that myself because he doesn't need to be there. We've we've missed a player. He hasn't drawn anyone with him. He's just now in a space with three, and there's only one of their players again. Uh, he didn't. Rice didn't draw anyone with him. Um, and that was the frustrating thing. I can understand him dropping deep if he was drawing players with him, but he wasn't. They were so organised that they knew what they were doing. They knew their jobs. They stayed in their little banks of um, of four. It's mate. It's, it's crazy, man. Uh, Mr. Gary ninety two. Honestly, take Trent off. Leave Rice on his own. Have Foden ahead of him with Bellingham. Get someone. Oh, you you imagine? Okay, yeah. So get someone else on the left. That's what I'd do if I was playing FIFA. FIFA or Football Manager. I hundred percent agree agree with you, Mr. Gary. If we play Royce, okay, and we have Bellingham and Foden in front of him, and we still have someone out on the left, 
Foden will interchange with that person. He'll do one twos. He'll do little flicks. He'll go past everyone because he's not doing that. And Trippier wouldn't need to go forward as much because he's already got someone out on the left. Foden will drift to the left. Um, man, I genuinely feel feel for Cole Palmer. Cole Palmer, you, you have these people like Grealish is not in the squad, and we could talk about the players that aren't in the squad, you know, all day because they're not going to come back into the squad uh, for this Euros. But Grealish is not in the squad. It's Grealish, Grealish kind of player that will hold the ball up, draw the foul in for us to then have a set piece or nutmeg someone, do a quick turn and set something up. Foden, Grealish. Imagine them. They play in their club together. Uh, why, why, why shouldn't they play for England together? Uh, missing Slabhead for the corners. Oh, that is another thing as well. Mr. Gary, yeah, you were correct. We don't have anyone with, uh, with height in the box, really. I mean, we've got Rice. You could say Rice is probably our tallest player, would you say? But we've got no one else. Like, again, I refer to it as a Villa fan. Ezri Konza absolutely loves going up for corners, always battling. He's not he's not as tall as, like, you know, your Kane, your Rice. Um, I mean, Belling Bellingham's quite tall as well, actually, to be fair. I, 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 I'll add him in there. Um, but, yeah, Harry Maguire was always the focal point for England set pieces. Um, so we do miss that, but we need to we need to acknowledge who the next person's going to be. Before Tyrone Mings got injured, um, so two seasons ago, every time we did a long ball, we all every time we had a long throw in, um, Matty Cash would always launch it over to Tyrone Mings. We'd always launch it to one focal point. Um, it just don't work. It doesn't work when we're launching it to let's just say Foden or Saka. It doesn't. It doesn't work. It needs to be. I would say this is this. If you if you think about it, with successful teams. Um, I know Man United are a shambles at the you know at the minute, but they, you know they, they might get better next season. That's for Man U fans. Uh, that's another discussion. But like you said, we got Harry Maguire at Man United. They will always aim it. They will always aim it, no matter what. Always in that spot to that person. Um, they'll never mix it up, which is a uh, which is a bit of a shame. It's a bit of a shame. Where does Cole Palmer play? So I kind of as a number ten, but also right hand side. So he won't be on the left hand side. So the the Eze argument didn't really. Um, it doesn't come into it. You can play Palmer and Foden. Like, you can play them both. And, again, Foden does drift out to the right as well at some point. Like, he had his shot when he was on the right-hand side um, where he hit the post. You could have them interchanging as well. You could have... Best, that's why you need Foden as the number 10. So, whoever's on the left, if whether it's Gordon, um, unfortunately, it's not Grealish, but whether it's Gordon, Eze... Um, You've got Foden in the middle, passing it to the left, doing one-twos with the left-hand side. Uh, we've got Cole Palmer, Sacco on the right, uh, doing it with them. And not so much. I, I mean, I I know I know, um, Jared Bowen was West Ham's probably best player. Scored a load of goals, uh, especially really, really important goals. Deserves to be in the England squad, I'll give him that. Uh, but I don't think he was the right choice for this game for when he made the changes. I just don't think so. I don't think so. Um Trent Alexander Arnold should be should be a cover for right back. I think that's that's what he should do. Um Are you saying Cole Palmer plays on the centre midfield uh centre attacking midfield or left? I thought he was uh, I thought he was on the right. Is he not? Let me know if I'm wrong on that guys. Grealish loves a foul. I know, I know. And then I I I lo I love it. <laughs> Obviously, when he plays for Man City, he plays different than when he did when he played for Villa. Villa, he would take the ball from the halfway line to the edge of the box. Man City has already got it on the edge of the box, which is how we uh, has that's how he would be when he plays for England. He would have the ball at the edge of the box already. He would already be there. He wouldn't play like he would uh, when he was with Villa. He would already be there. So he's used to doing those passes and stuff like that. People like Eze with Crystal Palace would be used to getting the ball and running with it. Um, he also, I also felt like like he drifted in towards uh, centre uh, center attacking midfield. And I feel like he couldn't run at anyone either because he wasn't one-on-one. -on -one. Saka was one-on-one -on -one quite a lot on the right-hand side. But when when Eze came on, I don't know if he got told to push in uh, more central. But he wasn't one-on-one -on -one as much on the left. Bring back the waistcoat, yeah. Yeah, that's it, Gary. Hashtag bring the, the waistcoat. There you go. 
T.S. Villa for England. No, nah, I couldn't. I couldn't be England's manager. We we all think we can. We all think we can. We all see everything on the big picture. I I, I rarely say this, but Ali uh, Alan Shearer was uh, was spot on. He was spot on with a lot of stuff he was saying on commentary, uh, and even what he was saying about a striker. I mean, uh, well, Mika Richards said at half time. He said, "This is what we need to do." I know he's our captain. He's our striker. We need to put Watkins on because he's going to lead that line. Uh, it will push everyone and hold everyone up there. And what well, he had two chances, didn't he? He had two chances. He got to, he, Bellingham found him as well. Um, he got a couple of corners out of out of his chances. So, yeah, there was a massive, there was a massive difference there. Uh, Mister Gary ninety two would be my assistant. Yes, and then people would be like, yeah, <laughs> people would be like. Uh, I will take a day off and then you have to take over and then they'll be like, oh, this guy's better than, uh, than Villa. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sly, Sly, I'll play on the left. <laughs> you got to take players on. you got to take players on. I just feel, because Southgate is such a defence, he, he was a defender. He was a centre-back. He played for Villa um, as well as a few other teams. Uh, it, I just feel like he's so defensive-minded that he, he, he must be telling these flair players to don't do that. Do this instead for the team. And they kind of, when they get the ball, they kind of feel like they can't be themselves anymore. It kind of like, like I said, I think Southgate is stifling England. This is the best bunch of uh, attacking players we've ever had. It's not the because the defence still isn't. I think the defence could be better, especially I, I still don't rate Pickford. Um, but the defence could be better. But I'm not going to say it's the best England squad we've ever had. Uh, I think it's the best attacking squad we've ever had. It's just he needs to let them attack. He needs to let them let them attack. Um, that's all good, Willie. That's all good, man. How how are you doing, man? Welcome in. We're gonna um. Uh, well, it's a Spain Italy game at eight o'clock. So I wanted to do a stream. Um, I was gonna do some Mario Kart. Then we were chatting yesterday about doing kind of a podcast style. Well, I I read your comment and I respond to them. And you ask me questions as well about the England game because it's just finished. Um, and we drew one all with Denmark. And I wanted to hear everyone's kind of opinions. I wanted to read them out. I wanted you to, to hear mine. And we'll upload this to YouTube as well. We'll upload it to YouTube as well. This is why I'm reading out your um, your your Twitter tags as well. I'd put Pickford up front. <laughs> He's the smallest player, isn't he? He's the smallest player. Who Who got man of the match? Obviously, I've turned it off. Who got man of the match? Does anyone know who got man of the match? Who would have been your man of the match? That is a question. Who would have got man of the match? You got players that did more. Um, Watkins did uh, more with the little time he had than a lot of people on ninety minutes. Uh, Conor Gallagher did more. Um, I thought Carl Walker, the ref, <laughs> thought Carl Walker had a good game. Um, I don't really know. There was moments when, um, speaking of uh, fullbacks. There was moments where Trippier lost the ball because he was given to it on his left foot. Um, and, you, and there was another moment as well where he booted the ball up with his left foot and he ended up going all the way back down again and Pickford caught it. Um, that is That does not feel comfortable to me. As a right, as a right footer on the left-hand side, it does not feel comfortable uh, for me at all whatsoever. Yeah, so what you say, the ball boy. <laughs> I think I only saw the ball boy once and that was when it was out in the top corner, yeah. <laughs> I like Gallagher because he actually brought energy to the team, yes. But you can only have, I mean, you can't have one person doing that. You need everyone else to do it as well. So if he's doing it on the right-hand side, you need Saka and you need uh, Walker to move up. Uh, you also need uh, Kane or Watkins to move over as well. You're all kind of pressing in that little area. Um, because I mentioned those players and we've still got Rice and Bellingham there. So those players can go, but you can't just have two players do it because they just pass it round you, um, so it's a bit of a it's a bit of a shame, really. Um, but I think, I think, like you said, we lost when we lost to Iceland. I felt like it was going to be a you know kick up the ass where we were going to um, uh, where we were going to change stuff, and he didn't. He didn't for the first game, and we we I know we won. I know we won. It was kind of felt like doom and gloom. I know we won, but. Um, I don't think he learnt from the loss, which I thought he was going to do. Uh, I don't think he changed uh, anything or learnt anything, even though we won and we got a clean sheet. Um, we, play, we play poorly. I don't think he learnt from that, watching this game here. 
I just really hope. Um, obviously, we've got four points now, so yeah, I think we're through. But obviously, we want to make sure we win that win the group. Um, I just really hope he learns from this, and yeah, I, I just I'm just baffled to why Cole Palmer hasn't played. It just makes no sense. It's like if we haven't got Grealish, he's probably the next. I mean, uh, you, you got Foden's Fod, He's he's starting Foden anyway, so that's not the conversation. Uh, we haven't got Grealish in the squad. Um, we've got Cole Palmer instead, so that's the player we should be using. It's just weird. It's just weird. What are they doing in training? I don't really know. I don't really know what they're doing in training. Um, Rio Ferdinand was talking about it as well about how uh, uh, Stones doesn't come out from the back like he does with Man City. And that is because we're not... Our midfield and attacking uh, options up front aren't holding the ball up enough for us to move forward, to keep us high up at the pitch, for him to come into midfield. Um, and like I said, so, so, so you'll, have, you'll, have, you'll have Stones move into midfield. Uh, you'll have Walker and Trippier drop in as a three at the back. We don't do that as England. We don't do it as England. That's that's what you should be doing. We've got one up front. They've got one up front. I'm going to keep going on about it. They've got one up front, man. Uh, and we're just playing. Well, we've got, we got, we got four four people in defence and Rice against one up front. That's, it's just a waste. They, I, don't, I don't think Southgate believes in their ability. I don't think he trusts the defence. That's why he's got Rice there. I like Gallagher because he actually brought energy to the team. That's a sentence I never thought I'd say. England could lose 10-0 to San Marino and Southgate wouldn't change anything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that is true. That is true. And then it, you would just say, well, why? Well, why? It, we, we'll, we'll, we'll <laughs> lose 10-0. <laughs> oh, my God. It would even be the same it, like, if we won 10-0 against San Marino. Uh, if we won 10-0 at San Marino, it wouldn't surprise me if we had 100 shots. And we only scored ten of them. Uh, that's that's the sort of feeling it gets with this uh, with this England squad. It is a shame. It's a shame, man. Um, what would you guys change for the next game? So we got Slovenia next. What would you What would you change? They uh, oh, oh man, they were yeah. They played well today. They played well today, and I was gutted for them. I was proper gutted for them. Uh, last minute, last minute. Nationality, Mr. Gary. <laughs> Southgate out. Someone said that on the radio, actually. Someone said that. It was, it was like, yeah, we won. 1 0, got a clean sheet. We've won, we've got three points. Uh, and we are top of the uh, the Euro table in our league. Um, but I still want Southgate out. Get another manager in before the second game. <laughs> you believe that? Yeah. It wouldn't, I, mean, I just think, I just don't think he's got. The, I don't think he's got the balls to change anything. Like we're all really surprised that he changed it at what fifty odd minutes, fifty three minutes or whatever it was, fifty eight minutes, and and then even he gave he gave everyone else everyone else twenty minutes as well. So that is that's a positive, but we could see these issues in the first half. So why why didn't he just change it? I know he's got a. I still don't understand how. You don't give instructions to players in the first half. It doesn't feel like he's telling the players in the first half to do stuff. He's waiting until half time. So he waits till half time to then tell them the instructions to then find out at the start of the second half if they're going to do it, if it's going to work. It's like you need to do it. You need to react. I've got loads of respect for managers. Premier League managers do it, uh, making changes after, you know, 25, 35 minutes. Yeah. Luke Shaw. So, yeah, that's the thing. So the thing with Luke Shaw is a bit, it's baffling. Um, I know, I know what he said. He hasn't played. I think he said he hasn't played since February. He hasn't played a a proper professional football game since February. Um, he's been out injured. He's he's been on the bench, so he's on the bench, and he's our only left footed uh, defender. He's gonna play left back. How are we gonna get ninety minutes out of him? We're not gonna get ninety minutes out of him, especially when we come up against the stronger teams. Like at some point, if we get through, um, eventually we're gonna we're gonna face France. We're gonna face France. Uh, you imagine him. So he's left. Who plays on the right for France? Mbappe's the left. Uh, who's on the right? You imagine that. So you got you got someone who hasn't played since February. Uh, has been injured. 
Uh, he's only just started training again. He's on the bench. Oh, Dembele. Oh, great. Yeah. Can you imagine that? Yeah. Last tournament, Maguire was the worst player in Premier history and still played. Yes. So didn't he... He hardly played, didn't he? He hardly played. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's... Uh, he doesn't... Let, yeah. The, the old phrase with these Southgate players, he doesn't let us down. Like, I mean, do you think Jordan Henderson would have made any difference here, guys? If we're, if we're just looking at the centre of midfield... You've got Rice and another. He's still he's still tinkering. He's still trying to find it. Do you think Jordan Henderson would have? I don't. I don't. I think he's 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 passed it now. But on what the options we've got now, he he would have been he would have been better. He would have been better surely. Mister Gary loves Hendo. I suppose at least he's a worker. We don't really have anyone kind of. I mean, Pickford today was the only one kind of like shouting at people, ordering people, trying to get them up. Um, there wasn't really anyone. Everyone had kind of had their heads down and stuff like that. Um, you go back to Bellingham as well. Bellingham was, uh, he felt, he felt quiet. Bellingham felt quiet. He kept, he kept getting fouled, obviously, but not as much as he did last, uh, last game. But he, um, he didn't really kind of drag the team up. And he's a born leader. Hendo picks up the team. Yeah, you've got that as well. Maybe, maybe we are missing a cheerleader. I know he's a glorified cheerleader, but he can pass a ball as well. So, is that the better option than Trent? But again, we're talking about a player who's not even in the squad. Um, <laughs> I think there's there's two players now. Now we started. I didn't want Hendo at the start of you know when we're picking these players um, for the squad. I didn't want him involved. I didn't want him anywhere near it. Uh, he went to Saudi Arabia, now plays in um, uh, at Ajax. Um, I didn't want him any anywhere near it because I didn't think he was. But then he goes and picks people like you know Luke Shaw because he's he he feels he's our only left back. You should have just gone with Mitchell. I think you should have just gone with Mitchell. That would have been you should have actually gone with a left back. So yeah, we're trying to fit these players in, but. It's just a, it's just, yeah, it's just a shame. It's just the, the best left back England ever had. I personally think is Ashley Cole, um, and since then we've never really had, we've never really had anyone who to kind of fill the 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 the, the gap. Like I, st I don't rate you well. I don't really rate Shaw. Like my new fans, let me know what you guys think. He's always injured as well. Why would you want an injured player, or someone who always gets injured, um? for a tournament because you've got to play so many games in so many days there's no that i mean there's probably one or two rest days uh maybe one rest day uh then you're back training again uh but like injured players why why would you take them i remember people were saying about callum wilson like awesome striker uh newcastle fans absolutely love him he knows where the back of the net is, can dribble the ball and lead the line and everything like that. And uh, Newcastle fans were saying about uh, Callum Wilson, but he gets injured so much. Why would you? Why would you have him in a tournament where you've got to play? I don't know what five or six games, maybe even seven if we get to the final. Is it seven games? So we have got four and thing, quarters, semis, final, eight, eight games. No, wait, four, seven games. Seven games, yeah, I was right. <laughs> yeah, three at this rate. <laughs> yeah, we're through. We're through. We're, we're, we're definitely playing four games because we're through. We've got four points. But I think if we come second, we face Germany. Am I right? I think it might be Germany. If Germany win their league, I think we face them. And that's the, that's the worrying thing. We can't play like that against Germany. I think Scotland played better. <laughs> Scotland played better against Germany than we did today. <laughs> There's a statement for you. There's a statement for you. So, would you play Cole Palmer in the in the next game? Would you start him? Would you start him? Would you put Foden there and Bellingham? I'm trying to think. I watched the uh, I watched the Slovenia game, and I was I was thinking, who was their right winger? Because is it safe for sure to play? Is it safe for him to play? He's got to play. He can't just come on against one of the big teams. He'll come on. He'll get injured in two minutes, and then that's a waste of a sub. 
and then it's kind of like uh you've kind of you've gambled here you've gambled here at sly i would get foden in the center 100 percent. he did all of his best work today in the center everyone was trying to find him no matter what you're giving the ball if you can't do anything with it he'll give it your back or he'll turn if he can do something with it he'll turn lay it off to the left or your, your striker but there's no one on the left there's no one on the left because he's the one on the left so he needs to be in the middle so you have got people on the left it's a it's a it's a conundrum it's a conundrum and this is why he gets paid the money this is why i think it's his last whether he wins wins or lose i think this is the last thing if he wins the euros Gareth southgate i think it would be still his last tournament i think he would go he'll go on a high because of the amount of the amount of abuse that we're giving, well, but I'm I'm not giving him abuse. I'm just I'm just giving him my views on what I think he should be doing. I haven't got any coaching badges. Uh, what I think he should be doing, or and definitely sooner as well. Definitely sooner. Uh, you think that too? Yeah, I think it as well, man. Oh, so <laughs> Sly Penguin, I am. <laughs> oh, bad. So um, I want to do I want to do more of these. Would anyone be up for a podcast or anything like that? Maybe if we sort something out for the, uh, um, maybe we sort something out for the Premier League season. 